It's been three days since I started promoting my channel, and today I'll show you how I've been using the promotions feature in YouTube Studio to promote my videos using Google Ads. I'm going to share my experience, including the results I received, so you can decide if it's something that makes sense for your channel. If you're struggling to get views, then paying to promote your videos is one way to grow your channel. However, it's important that you choose the right way to promote your content. If we search for increase YouTube views on Google, then we'll find a whole range of companies offering to increase our views and subscribers. I found that these services fall into one of three categories. There are services that use automated systems or bots to increase the number of views on videos. This is really a waste of time and money. These services are typically cheap and will guarantee a certain number of views, but you're not growing your audience and the worst case is that your channel is suspended. Other services offer to message people on other social networks, asking them to subscribe to your channel. This just seems like spam to me and I think some people will get annoyed at being messaged like this. The final option is to promote our videos using Google Ads. You can set up a video campaign in Google Ads yourself, or there are third-party platforms that make running these ads easier. YouTube has also added a new option to promote our videos directly inside YouTube Studio. Let's take a look. Have you noticed the new Promotions tab in YouTube Studio? After you've opened Studio and selected Content, it appears at the top. This is what I use to promote my videos and my channel. Let's select this. YouTube Studio is telling us that we can grow our channel's popularity and engagement by promoting our videos. We can also see an example of what our ad might look like, which looks pretty good, and it even includes a subscribe button with our ad. This all looks good, so let's select Get Started. We're asked to select a Google Ads account for our new video promotion. Check out my tutorial if you don't have a Google Ads account. It walks through the steps to create a new Google Ads account. Once you've created your account, you can continue to the next step. Once you've selected the Google Ads account you want to use to run the promotion, click Next. Now we need to select the video we want to promote. I'm going to select my latest video which covers sampling and thresholds in Google Analytics. We can see a preview of our ad. There is an option to adjust the headline and description for our video, but I'm going to leave the defaults, and then we click Next. We're asked to select the countries where we want our video to be promoted. YouTube has automatically selected these countries for us, so I'm going to leave these, and let's click Next. The final step is to enter a total budget for our promotion and how long we want the promotion to run. I'm thinking I want to run a seven-day trial, so I'm going to adjust the end date. And I'd like to spend a maximum of, say, $10 a day, so I'm going to adjust the total budget to $70. We can see YouTube tells us that promotions with a budget of at least $150 tend to perform better. Since I'm running this promotion as a trial, I'm going to go ahead and apply this suggestion. So let's increase the budget to $150. And now let's click Promote. We can now see that our video is listed as pending in the Promotions tab. So we'll check back on this once the video is being promoted. Now let's take a look at the current stats for this video so we have a benchmark to gauge performance. We're looking at the video I'm promoting. So let's scroll down and select Go to Video Analytics. We can see there are currently 550 views, which is less than the typical number of views for one of my videos. So this seems like a good video to promote. It hasn't received many views, so I'm keen to see how many views and subscribers we get for my budget. Now let's skip forward two days and see how the promotion is going. Let's head back to YouTube Studio. Let's select the Promotions tab. We can see the promotion has been running. And it looks like my whole budget has already been spent, so that's a bit strange. We can see the promotion has spent $180. The video received 146,000 impressions, just over 2,000 views, and we've added 273 subscribers. That's more subscribers than I was expecting to see from the promotion. 
Okay, so I want to talk about a couple of things we just saw. First, the budget. The promotion spent $180, which is more than the $150 budget I set. I did check this in my linked Google Ads account, and I was pleased to see that I received a credit back in my account for the extra $30 that was spent. So that's a bonus. I got some free views and subscribers. Secondly, let's break down what I spent. Based on the total cost of $180, I paid around $0.09 cents per view, and I paid around $0.66 cents per subscriber. The cost per view is a little higher than I expected, but the cost per subscriber seems reasonable to me. What do you think? Would you spend these amounts for views and subscribers on your channel? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Now let's take a look at the video analytics. We can see the clear jump in views from the promotion. So we've gone from 550 views to over 2,500 views. There have been around 200 more organic views, but the majority of these are from my promotion. And there's something interesting here. The analytics are saying the video has only resulted in 19 more subscribers, but on the promotion tab it said we gained 273 subscribers. If you're wondering why the subscriber numbers are different, it's because of the way the promotion is displayed to people on YouTube. Do you remember the preview of my promotion before it was running? Let's take another look at it. The promotion includes a large subscribe button. This means most people click this button instead of subscribing on the video's watch page. So I'll be interested to see how this impacts subscriber numbers in the coming days and weeks. Will people stay subscribed to my channel or will they unsubscribe? I'll have to wait and see. Following this promotion, I'm already running another one. I adjusted the geographic targeting slightly and selected English for the language targeting. And my follow-up promotion is seeing improved results. My average cost per view is now below 4 cents and the average cost per subscriber is below 30 cents. So using the promotions feature in YouTube Studio can help you increase views and grow the number of subscribers on your channel. If you'd like to see more videos about using Google Ads and promoting your content, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in my next video.